Hey guys, it's some old guy coding again, and look what we have on the sacrificial bench today. It is a, ooh, it's all worn off. It's a Jack LaLanne power juicer. So uh, here's a picture of one. And it sells for $100 used. So uh, yeah, if I remember, this one was pretty doggone pricey. So it's just this piece, base piece. Oh, let's turn the motor on. I've, you know, if this works, I'm going to have to give it back to the wife. No? Okay, so let's, the light's on. But you can take a look at this is the uh, this is the motor component. Then there was a uh, the juice tray that would go like this, and stuff would come out the spout. You <laughs> and more crud. Um, and of course, you had to have this facing the right direction, just like that. Now let's see if it'll turn on. Nope. All right. Uh, I'm going to turn it off for a second here while I install the uh, the grinding blade. This has very sharp little serrated edges here that will take whatever vegetable you want and uh, and turn it to shreds, you know. <clears throat> and some of your older guys may remember Jack LaLanne from the 50s, 60s, and maybe even into the 70s. The exercise guy that uh, was hawking these things on TV for quite a while even into his older years. Now, he, I always I always would get him confused with Yule Gibbons, you know, the guy that says, oh, some trees are edible. And uh, he'd do the Grape Nuts commercials, you know, on Saturday morning between my cartoons. If you search for Yule Gibbons um, on uh, Wikipedia, there's actually a link to his uh, one of his Grape Nuts commercials. It's, a, it's funny you know, looking back at it now. But uh, and, it's, and uh, this is Jack LaLanne, not Richard Simmons. I'm sure he had other products of his own. I gotta take that back off of there. There we go. Now there was a special tool to uh, assemble this. This is the strainer. So um, as the whole thing spins, all the uh, tiny shards of vegetable uh, get flung up against the edge here and their juice goes flying out like uh, lifeblood of, uh, I don't know. But uh, it's amazing because the uh, stuff that's left over here is actually quite dry. So it does a really good job of, uh, of getting it out. So there we go. We'll put that guy back in there. Now this actually tightens with a tool that has two pegs on it and a handle that goes in the middle. And I don't see that I got this down here. She misplaced the tool for a while and um, so I 3D printed her one. So and it worked great, so I don't know. Then we have this part that goes on top and this has to go toward the back. Um, this uh, also, some of, some of the um, <clears throat> Uh, fiber material of whatever you're juicing um, would fly out the back into another container that would uh, sit behind here as you can see here and uh, I probably have something put together wrong and then of course this is where you uh, put your victims and push them down with a uh, with a with a shtick or with a you know a, a pusher <clears throat> so now it's all together like I think it should be let's turn it on and see if it works Come on, come on. Oh, damn, it works. I'm going to have to give this back to my wife, son of a bitch. I was hoping to take it apart and see what we had for a motor in there. Damn. Well, uh, I'm not going to dig into it. It's working. I'll give it back to her. Uh, sorry. Sorry to disappoint you guys. <laughs> uh, don't put your fingers in there. All right, we'll find something else to take apart. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. But wait, don't go yet. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can see future episodes from this channel. And if you'd like to help out and support this channel, uh, go to patreon.com slash coding for as little as a dollar a month. We really appreciate it. Thanks. See you soon.